if you're not doing the sick finish, you know what I mean? That like, bang, and then you look around to acknowledge your dopeness. What are you doing? Why are you fighting? If you can't do that at the end, you shouldn't be fighting. So at this point, I'm sure you know that Cobra Kai is out on Netflix. If you don't know what Cobra Kai is, I'm not sure why you follow my channel. But Cobra Kai is a uh, spin-off series. It was based off the Karate Kid, uses the same actors, uses the same concept of bad guy does karate, good guy must also do karate. Obviously, I love it because the more people that do karate, the happier I am. I've already seen this. It's a great series. If you haven't yet, go watch it. But what we're going to do today is we're going to break down and watch the top five Cobra Kai fights. And I think this is season one. So we might have a little bit of room for a season two here. We'll see, okay? So Johnny versus Crease. This is sick. You've got the sick logo in the background. Like, and let me say, this dojo looks awesome. Strip mall karate usually gets like a bad name, but it's hard to like scale good karate. It's hard to teach good karate to a lot of people. But then it's also hard to teach it to a smaller amount of people and pay the bills. So strip malls, I think they get a bad rep. Ooh, the hand smack. Okay, so that's initiating the violence. Kreese obviously wants to take the risk control, like looking for some sort of manipulation, maybe a joint lock. Maybe he's looking to pull and get that get that elbow and get some, some back mount. We'll see. Also, I have it on mute so you guys can hear a little bit of it, so I don't know what they're saying. I should have taken that into consideration. Let's get to the actual fight itself. All right, Lawrence throws the first punch. Let's break that down a little bit. Let's talk about what just happens. Loads up, angry face, then throws the punch. Big tell, especially for Kreese, whose whole idea was to make him mad, most likely. I've seen the series. I, I believe I remember what they're talking about here. Throws the punch. Kreese, knowing it's coming, knowing he's agitated, is able to parry it to the outside, and then goes for a shoulder grab. So he goes with a parry, a latch on, grabs the shoulder, and then flips him. Oh, okay. You see a little foot sweep there that you don't see before, where he sweeps out this front foot and then flips him. Would be very difficult, not gonna lie. You forgot. I taught you everything you know. Talking that I can't hear. <laughs> little capoeira action. That knee comes up and that hip drives over. We've actually talked about this in, in videos in the past. That's a pretty cool move. Oh, kicks the cigarette or cigar into the trash can. That's definitely my next Instagram video, I'm not gonna lie. That's a, that's a pretty legit idea. That's actually a kind of cool video. Have you guys seen that Hans Molenkamp does like the kick out of people's hands, like of whatever they're eating or drinking? I'm gonna do that with cigarettes or cigars next. Not bad. Not sure what that was. Outraged Johnny Lawrence pretty much throws himself a crease. Don't do that. Got an interesting exchange here with some elbows, a roundhouse kick, some knees. What's really interesting about the uh, the Cobra Kai series is that there's a lot of like hands down exchanges where they're like throwing. Um, it makes it look really cool because you can see like the entirety of the fighters. So like as I'm throwing it in my knee, my hands are down. I'm not like blocking my face. I'm not keeping you guys from seeing anything. It, it's it's a kind of cool concept. Um, it makes for an interesting like fight style. One thing Cobra Kai does really well is it, it like translate the fighting style from Karate Kid to Cobra Kai, and I'm sure that has something to do with literally the fact these are the exact same actors. Also, kudos to Cobra Kai for pulling that together where you get the exact same actors. That's uh oh. <clears throat> Inside crescent kick from Crease. Ooh, through the mirror. That actually. I, I, we've had that happen before where somebody knocks into a mirror, but usually it doesn't break on impact. It drops down to the ground and then it breaks. Curious if you guys who have mirrors have ever had a broken mirror. Look, I don't want to fight. I just want to talk. How about what? Exchanging words, talking between the fight, there. classic fight scene stuff. You broke my second mirror. 
Interesting there. Takedown goes from the, the headlock to throwing him over the shoulder. Essentially what you're trying to do there is make their momentum go this way and stop where their feet are. So like if I keep his feet from going anywhere, but I make his body go this way, what happens is that those feet come up in the process and that's what starts the roll. And then he goes for a rear naked choke here. Is this how it's going to end? Is he going to put him out? What's ironic is that this was the opposite. Oh, uh, and yep. Called it. I called that one, didn't I? I haven't seen these in forever. But I remember that's like that. He's got him in the headlock. Miyagi gives him that. I think this is the first fight scene in the whole series. This one's a pretty cool one. They do they, they do a lot of good stuff. They don't go like full full house where they like pretty much redo the same thing every other episode. But they do a good job of giving you that that nostalgic feeling. So what this is, is Lawrence fighting four or five teenagers, which is totally not okay, but whatever. He was getting bullied, I guess. If you're an adult getting bullied by teenagers, I guess it's like you might as well fight them. A little ending of a tornado kick there with that knee coming up and the switch over top. Threw a little bit like an inside crescent kick. Keeps you towards your opponent the whole time. Nice spinning rear kick there. Side kicks don't work. Nice front kick. Everything here looks pretty legit so far. He's got people trying to come at him. Less fortunate woman eating pizza. Biggest pet peeves of a lot of people is like when they come one at a time in these fight scenes. So let's see what they do about that. Because it looks like he's got, oh, one, two, one at a time. Yeah, it's not too bad. They're, they're, they're not too far apart. These kids are really selling the uh, the hits really well. Is that the is that the kid from uh, Sandlot? Hold on a second. Can somebody verify if the curly-headed kid is from Sandlot? Can we get a comment down below if that kid's from Sandlot? I think he is. Anyway, he does a good job of like layering people without it feeling like bang, 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 takes care of one. Who's next? Bang, bang, bang. You know what I mean? Mix up some good kicks, mix in some practical stuff, some stuff that you wouldn't usually do with some stuff that would actually work so it like feels good, it has good movie quality. I'm into it. Kind of idly watching by. Oh. And then goes for like an interesting little back take. Oh, and then the choke. Okay, nice, nice takedown there. Same concept that we saw earlier, except now it's like a shoulder drag, sorta. Of. He grabs him by the arm, pulls the body's momentum forwards while leaving the feet behind, which means the feet have to go up and over the body. And if the feet go up and over the body, the head goes first. And we get a little uh, elbow and then a curse splat. Great break fall, too. followed by another outside crescent kick. Great, st I, I must admit, great stamina for someone who hasn't sparred in forever. I'm sure, based off of what I've seen so far, that he has not been getting in the hours in the gym. The most unrealistic part about any of this is the fact that Johnny Lawrence has so much stamina for someone who's like pretty much coming off the street. It'd be like if you took like however many years he took off and then were just like fresh and felt it. Like he had that instinct but after like two minutes of fighting, you're gassed, you're toast. So hats off to you, Mr. Lawrence, for, uh, for keeping that stamina. And when it all comes down to it, this was all assault on minors. <laughs> cool fight scene though, it was fun to watch. I think I've seen this one circulate on um, on like Facebook where it's got a thumbnail like a a meme text over top where it says you know you never know who you're messing with and it's like something about fighting women okay nice little arm trap there circled it up now what's interesting about stuff like this it, it very rarely looks this smooth but it's cool to see it like behind spinning sidekick yeah if you're, if you're not doing the sick finish huh. You know what I mean? That like, bang, and then you look around to acknowledge your dopeness. What are you doing? Why are you fighting? If you can't do that at the end, you shouldn't be fighting. Okay, so we've got uh, 
kid wearing no shirt versus uh, two black headbanded warriors. I don't want to like ruin the storyline, you know what I mean? Ooh, don't, uh, hook kicks are tough. Hook kicks are probably the easiest kick for people to catch. Um, ooh, that was, that was a legit spin. What's interesting is like, Oh, we've got multiple fight scenes within this fight scene. I'm pretty sure that kid would have very serious injuries. <laughs> that kid came out like a like a flying a flying squirrel out of the sky. Oh, and he's yep. Hell, I forgot about the hair. Today you're the enemy. How is he able to take the headband off with that hair? That's not fair for anyone to like try and get that headband off, even if he beat him up. How are you gonna get the headband off that hair? You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna like get all. It's gonna be all pokey. You're gonna try and. It's not even worth it. All right, two of the main characters of this show. We're gonna. I think this is like halfway through the season. I don't want to spoil anything, so we're gonna leave the audio off. Legit fight scene in the woods. It doesn't get any better than this. Let's go. Starting off with that same double touch kick with the roundhouse that showtime kick off the tree too. No punches so far. Want to keep the distance, keep them at bay. Okay, they start to go with the punches, gets in with a little clinch, a little underhooks, a little head control, shots to the body. You want to get tighter on the body after that. You know what I mean? You don't want to give them too much space to kick you like happened there. Once you get them on the ground, you want to put those hips on them. Nice control. Look like a little John Cena action. Nice roll. Oh, we okay. Never mind. I was sure that you couldn't take the headband. He just went from the front. I thought, I thought maybe you would like want to go from over top, but you definitely don't want to go from over top. Apparently. Um. <laughs> so uh, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown of Cobra Kai fight scenes. Um, this is like in no way endorsed or sponsored by Cobra Kai. I'm just a fan. I like karate, obviously. Hope this was fun for you guys to watch. If you want to see more breakdowns and stuff like this, make sure you let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, or I will have no choice, but I will Cobra Kai you, bro. Watch this. That's some traditional stuff, and then you and then you make it practical. You go for that, like that clinch in the elbows, and then, if you don't subscribe, I will kick you. That's three. The last three places now that I've been to. Icy Mike's, I took out a ceiling tile. Really? Yeah. The what? We, doing the dodgeball, almost took out the ceiling tile. 